the anchor that holds me firm through the swells and troughs of life's turbulence, the explosion of beauty that brings me peace deep in my soul, the cradle that rocks me comfort, the embrace that draws me in, the solitude in which I feel the company of all living things, the abundance of life which gives me the opportunity to stand alone and replenish. Flowers reaching for the sun to drink from its well. Grasses stand to attention in its presence, their symmetry disturbed only by the winds which are marching for the same master. The gentle sound of water's obedience to the ruler of life as it greets the shoreline. The grandeur of its penetration to an upturned face, with eyes closed and reverence on the lips. The harsher beauty that prevails during its absence, providing a balanced diet for all and preparing the way for its return. The overwhelming feeling when stood in a certain place that we once had tuberous roots and had burst forth from the earth's restrictions at this very spot, and, like the salmon, we have returned to our beginnings to accept and understand the gift to feed from the source, and with renewed recognition of our history, a commitment to complete the journey, however arduous. To see the grace of a bird in flight, to hear the peace of a child's laugh, to smell the sweetness of a bee's endeavours, to touch a soul and leave your mark, to taste the nectar of this special place. Whether nature's children are bowed with the burden of a winter frost, or stretching to feed from the glory of a cloudless summer sky, take heed from her cycle of certainty, and from the pure chance of your presence. Feed not from what might have been, or indeed what yet might be, for the plate from which your soul will feed can contain only that which is present. Do not waste this food, as it is unique, perishable, and vital to your inner growth. Life is not full of opportunity. Life is the opportunity. Take it, for without doubt, it will take you.